Friends decided that it's time to take away the carrots and impose some sticks. Local legal experts weighing in tonight on President Biden's announcement of sweeping new vaccine mandates to combat the spread of COVID-19. Good evening at 5 o'clock. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Those mandates also have local effects, requiring all businesses with more than 100 employees to require vaccines or run weekly testing. Now, it's a potential cost to employers, and some Republican leaders have vowed to sue the Biden administration. But our Elise has found some local corporations are relieved by these new rules. Elise joins us now. I know you talk to a lot of business leaders. What are they telling you? Well, large corporations across the country, Jeff, as you know, like Walmart, Disney, Delta Airlines and McDonald's have already put in vaccine mandates for their workers in place. But locally here, like businesses like Intel and Columbia Sportswear have been saying that they've been encouraging the vaccine, but have fallen short of mandating it. Now that the Biden administration has come out with this new mandate, these businesses say they feel like they have more grounds to stand on. But at the end of the day, I think it's important that the government steps in and says, we all need to do this. The CEO of Columbia Sportswear in Portland was quick to support the Biden administration in extending the vaccine mandate to large U.S. companies like his. We want to make sure that uh, vulnerable people are, are covered and, and that, frankly, we can get back to a more normal way of life, a, no, a more normal way of working. And that's only going to happen if we have a high, high rate of vaccination. Even if big businesses are on board, what if people and politicians try to sue? If I had to put money on this, my bet would be with President Biden. Professor of Law Keith Cunningham Parmeter at Willamette University says while there may be some legal challenges to vaccine uh, mandates, so by and large, government officials have convinced courts throughout pandemics that they have the right to protect the public. Traditionally, vaccine requirements in the past have come through schools at the state level. The fact that this is coming as a federal requirement, Keith says, is unique. There is the possibility that um, a court will find that this is a step too far, that this exceeds OSHA's authority. I think that's unlikely. But that will be up to the courts. The Oregon Bureau of Labor and Industries also supports the president's move. The Oregon Labor Commissioner Val Hoyle saying in part, employers can require vaccines and more and more have been prior to this order, especially the larger employers covered by the order. The order speeds up the trend that is well underway for businesses with over 100 employees. Thing that the CEO of Columbia Sports Air was mentioning to me is that for months now he's been trying to use incentives to vaccinate his more than 8,000 workers globally, but still those incentives have not done the trick. So that's why he says this mandate is so important. I also reached out, Jeff and Elizabeth, to Nike, Intel, and Adidas, and I'm still waiting to hear back from them for comment. I'll continue to reach out. Live in downtown Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.